did you know that cavemen did not have crooked teeth or need braces and that crooked teeth a weak jaw line and that need for braces is a modern phenomenon <laughs> welcome to the habit coach podcast i am ashton doctor your habit coach the podcast where we evolve into the best versions of ourselves one awesome habit at a time in today's episode we are going to be exploring the reason why most of us grew up with lots of metal bits in our mouth and those painful braces we will explore three habits to improve our jawline and minimize damage caused by modern lifestyle the stanford press published an article titled why cavemen did not need braces and it caused a big stir especially since we just assumed that crooked teeth were a part of being human we had not associated them with a modern lifestyle and the big aha moment in this article comes when we realize that the number of teeth in our mouth has remained the same however the size of our jaws and the size of our mouth overall has shrunk and it is this shrinking of the jaw line that has created this overcrowding and the need for braces now take a look around and you will begin to notice that most people have a small looking jaw line compared to the rest of their face the jaw does not line up with the front of the face instead it is tucked back slightly and there are three leading lifestyle reasons for this the first is because of the kind of food we eat we eat a lot of over processed and over cooked food which is soft and as a result we do not chew on hard things anymore especially now that we are beginning to put everything into a smoothie and a blender right smoothie this smoothie that is almost like we are the smoothie generation and there is almost no chewing taking place when you put something in a smoothie caveman used to chew on roots and meat and food that was not cooked to tenderness this chewing kept the jaw line in shape the second big issue is that we have forgotten how to breathe most of us have become mouth breathers we are breathing through our mouths every day and this means that your jaws are open most of the day the muscles are not tensing and as a result the jaw muscles are atrophying they're wasting away a bigger concern with mouth breathers is that we do not get enough nitric oxide build up in the body hence this affects circulation and can cause cardiovascular issues as well including things like poor circulation of oxygen to the brain and finally lowering our iq or the way that we think and finally the resting position of our jaw has changed the correct position of the jaw is closed teeth touching while the tongue rests flat against the palate or the roof of the mouth when we mouth breathe we have to keep our mouth open and the tongue is unable to push against the palate so your first habit to improve your jaw line is to start eating tough food don't shy away from food that requires you to chew on it if you are a non vegetarian choose meat over minced meat if you are a vegetarian eat carrots and other root vegetables without cooking them so that you can crunch into them you can also start by chewing gum but however most gum is filled with chemicals that are necessarily the best for you and there is a natural tree sap that you can chew on and it is called mastic gum and it's available online the flavor is a little spicy and takes a little getting used to so you can chew on this gum every day as part of your jaw exercise routine and the muscles of your jaw will grow and give you that more defined jaw line like all habits consistency is key to see this change the second habit is that of breathing correctly and the best way to practice this is by consciously breathing through your nose when you breathe through your nose your mouth is shut be aware of your mouth turning dry because that is a definite sign that you're breathing through your mouth try it out when you breathe through your nose your mouth will be shut you can also ask your family members and friends to help you and remind you to shut your mouth you'll notice that you keep your mouth open when you're probably watching tv or where your focus has gone somewhere if you like you can also practice mouth taping and this is where you use micropore tape to seal your mouth shut and this forces you to breathe through your nose and gives you that practice of breathing through your nose now i know it sounds scary and weird but i've done multiple videos on this on my instagram channel as well so you can go check it out there the final habit is called mewing m e w i n g and it is a technique that was discovered by dr john mew 
And the premise is a constant pressure by the tongue can change the shape of the facial bones. And we do this by closing our mouth. The bottom front teeth just behind the upper front teeth. And then we flatten our tongue against the roof of our mouth and we press. And we start by pressing for 10 seconds. And then we slowly build up to 20 seconds. Then as you get stronger, you can do 30 seconds and up to a minute. Don't go more than a minute, not necessarily. You can do this three times a day. I practice mewing when I'm working on my laptop. And it's almost now a subconscious habit. I don't have to think about it. My tongue is always against my palate, pushing up. As your habit coach, I never want you to be affected by these modern day lifestyle issues. These are things we need to solve so that we can have that best possible life. Your jawline and your face are such an important part of a good life, as well as looking good and feeling good. So start working on this beautiful and strong jawline of yours today. <laughs>